previously on The Walking Dead. While searching for a place to call home, AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep in the forest. Their leader was a guy named Marlin, and AJ pulled the trigger. I told AJ he was justified for killing him. The other kids didn't see it that way. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. We were almost eaten by walkers when suddenly one of them spoke to me. His name was James, an ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. He helped me treat AJ, but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay, at least until the fight. I decided to help Violet in the bell tower. We looked at the stars together, and I admitted I had feelings for her. She felt the same way. Then the raiders finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until Ten ran out of cover, hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off, and attempting to save Ten, Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. With only a second to decide, I fired and saved Violet. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone. But we knew someone who did. the start, I was so little, and, and Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes, but he was always nice to me. Now he's gone. Stabbed in the eye by some asshole who never even knew his name. Look, I promise you, Willie, the people who did this we're going to hit them back. They're gonna regret ever coming near us. If Mitch were here, he wouldn't cry. He'd find a way to get our friends back. Then bash Lily's brains out with a rock. Hey, AJ's waiting for you in the basement. We got Abel tied up tight. He's alive, but he's out cold. Thanks. We should bury Mitch. It's time. I'll help you carry. Get away from him! <laughs> You're the reason he's dead! Willie! Well, it's true! We had a plan, and that idiot messed it up! Come on, Willie. None of this is Ten's fault. You know who's really to blame. I can't believe you're defending him! This... This is bullshit! Ten! I'll take care of this. 
Talk to Abel, find out where Lily took Lewis, Omar, and Asim. And Clem, don't be afraid to, you know, hurt him a little. Maybe you'll get more out of him than we did. Brody. Got your gun back, huh? Uh-huh. Ready? Wake him up. <sighs> the fuck? Wake up, stupid shitting fuckhead. Well. It ain't no way to wake an old man up from his afternoon nap. I was having a nice dream, too. About a girl I used to know, from before. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't her prisoner if you get my meaning. <laughs> no offense, but I'd rather go back to my dream, so... If you don't mind... Damn it, Squirt. Easy on the broken parts. I don't like your voice. Well, I'm real sorry about that, but it's the only one I got. Cool it, AJ. We need him to talk. But it's justified. Maybe. But follow my lead. <laughs> you never done this before, have you? You and the devil child just making it up as you go along. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's gonna turn around and come right back for me. <laughs> you better give me the five-star treatment. If I'm smiling when she gets here, you might be able to trade me for a little mercy. You think Lily would come back for you? Look at the state you're in. You're worthless to her now. I can heal. There is no rescue party, Abel. Only a bunch of pissed off kids who want you dead. So tell us where our friends are. You trade it for mercy. <coughs> Lily will never give him up. Only reason we came here was for more manpower. Losing Jonathan and me for three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. From Richmond to the coast. Back at the Delta, we're at war. With some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say. Point the guns the way we tell them to. That's called kidnapping. Give it whatever name you want. I call it survival. What kind of place is this Delta if they use forced labor to defend it? You think we like doing raids like this? Our home is under threat. It's a good home. Built to last. I'd do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. 
And I do a lot to get my friends back, so stop wasting my time. Okay. Front pocket. The answer to all your questions. Read it. <sighs> Whatsoever parteth the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and cheweth the cud, among the beasts, that shall ye eat? What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely, moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? Smoke will clear my mind. Help me remember stuff. Like where Lily went. Now that is heavenly. <coughs> <coughs> That's a lot of blood. Oh, fuck. This is not good. He's gonna die, isn't he? Isn't that what you wanted? I did, but... You're gonna get your wish. When you push me off that balcony, Something must have burst inside of me. <laughs> Shit. I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No! <laughs> My whole life, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will for my body to turn on me, to take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise you won't let me turn. I'm begging you. If you're honest with me, I'll put you out of your misery. You have my word. Okay, we have a boat. We're docked a few miles west of here at an old fishing pier. Your friends are on the boat. You, you got what you wanted. Please, don't let me become one of those things. Please, I don't want to turn. Not that. I wanna... Let me keep my face. You don't need to watch this. I want to. At least you can't hurt anyone anymore. Yeah. Come on, we have a boat to find. Answer the question. Eight. There's eight. Clementine, wait. That... That's Minnie.
after the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean, I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Brody? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um, she died. Ten's boots holding up okay? His boots? They're so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. I didn't ask to be put in charge. It just sort of happened. Is that the kind of wishy-washy bullshit you say to everyone back home or just me? Excuse me? Abel figured he could talk Marlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did, but... Like they did before. You ruined the whole plan. What the hell he gave you and Sophie away? Yeah, and we all survived it. Marlin would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. Minnie, you're wrong. Glenn protected us. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. He murdered Brody. What? Where's Sophie? Is she alive? She... She died protecting the Delta. A hero. A hero? God, you're Norva! Shit. Rockingham! Finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Yes, ma'am. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're gonna save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. It's not too late, Minnie. You could come back to the school with us. No. No, I couldn't. Are you okay? Nothing's changed. Our plan is to get onto the boat and save our friends. So that's what we're gonna do. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except Ten. I warned you. Enough, both of you. AJ and I will go find James. Good luck. What's this? It's called a salt lake. Salt lake? Ugh, sounds gross. Whatever you do, don't lick it. It tastes horrible. Wait a minute, how do you know? Did you lick it? I don't know. My people, my former people, they had a practice. They called it collecting. <laughs> they
They use them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do. As people. As people? Well, not people exactly. But... <sighs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. Deep down. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead, not alive. God, I hope that's not true. That sounds like hell. To you, maybe. I think it seems... peaceful. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. Has someone you cared about turned? Clem's friend, Lee. She shot him before he did. So he wouldn't have to suffer. Sorry. Maybe this wasn't the best way to explain. Didn't mean to bring up difficult memories. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone, they're harmless. Innocent. If you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. Then tell me if you really believe they're just... monsters. They are just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem! She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. She just needs to move as they do. If it gets bad in there, I'll need you to save me, okay? Can you do that? I... Yes. I'll always protect you. I know you will. The first rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. Check the windows. I will. And say fuck off to fear. I will. I promise. The mask will disguise your scent. But be gentle. And be quiet. Touch the wind chime. You'll see.
Whoa, hey there, kiddo. It's all right, I'm fine. See? No bites. No bites. So, do you still think they're just monsters? Now that you've seen them at peace, any different at all? I... I think you might be right about there being something more to them. It was kind of nice in there. Really? I never met someone who understood. It's... Thank you. I'm glad. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Many. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before, too. AJ. You've killed someone? But I was justified. I see. <sighs> That's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. All of the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine, but I can't have more blood on my hands. You saved AJ and me because you said you didn't want us to become soldiers. What makes it okay this time? They're going to make all our friends into killers. More violence, more death. And you could have stopped it. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. Those raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. And if your friends are anything like you, I don't doubt they're worth saving. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. There might be people inside walkers. Did you mean it? Is he right? Well, we can't know for sure. <sighs> Maybe he's right. Death might not be like we thought before the world turned like this. Maybe something is left after we die. Well, it sounds weird. But if you believe it, I do too. Come on, AJ. Let's get back before it's too dark. Hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters' eyes. They usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters' eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes right as you kill them. Like you did to Abel. His, his eyes looked like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him, too. 
I think there's something wrong with me. You know what, AJ? Everything you're feeling is okay. It makes you a good person. Am I good? I wish what we did felt good. Part of me wants to like it. I'm getting real smart. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay, what are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Yeah. The older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. That's not happening. You don't know that. No, I don't. But it won't happen anytime soon. You don't know that either. You're just trying to be brave for me. <sighs> it does something weird to my stomach. Like I'm gonna get the dookies. <sighs> AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Shoot. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised... I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. What? You don't mean that. I don't want to be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much, but don't make me. Alvin Jr., if you have a gun, you shoot me. If you don't, you use your knife. No knife, a rock to the head as many times as you have to. I said I don't wanna. I don't care what you said. You will do it. I don't care what you say. God damn it, AJ. <sighs> you can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit... And then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. You think so? Let's say James might be right. That monsters have part of the person they were still inside them. The thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, we're not going to risk our lives over it. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. What's with AJ? He just needs some space. Can we talk about what happened today? With Minnie? Yeah, sure. What's wrong? The thing is... Seeing Minnie, I feel like it should have scared me, but it didn't. The person we ran into in the woods, that wasn't Minnie. Not really. The way she sounded and acted. The way she talked about Sophie and Lily. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused, I guess. We can still save Minnie. If we brought her back, we could... You saw how she reacted when Lily showed up. Those are her people now, and we are not. Minnie, the real Minnie, she's gone. She's been gone this whole time, and I have to stop mourning her. I won't let her take you or AJ, or anyone else I care about. Lewis knows when to keep his head down. Yeah, shit. Well, I, I, I hope so. You know, when I first got here, I hated him. He was so much. You know, he walks into a room and it's like, look at me, watch me perform. It's so stupid. But then I realized under all that, he, he really cares about people. And he doesn't just feel it, he says it. 
I'll tell you every goddamn day how much you mean to him. Shit, he'll probably sing about it. Especially if there's already a famous song with your name in it. We've got to get him back. We will. Louis, Omar, Asim, we'll get them all back. Um, I made you this. <gasps> Stars? So you never forget that night? I never will. When you told me you had feelings for me, I was shocked. Then I started thinking. There's something I've always wanted to try with someone I cared about, and I never have. What is it? Have you ever danced with anyone before? <laughs> nope. Do you... wanna? Just us. No one else around. Thanks for the dance. Yeah, we're getting better at being romantic. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Clem! <laughs> wow. Where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up and... That was pretty gross, but look, it works. <laughs> I should get going. Ruby could probably use some help. Looks like things are coming together. Yeah. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? But Lewis isn't here. See that? <laughs> it's like Lewis in a box. Come on, I'll show you how it works. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Rim gets natural moonlight, so something to complement that, maybe? Let's deck this place out in green. Ruby's favorite color. I'll make it happen. So you take one of those black things that look like plates and pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so you could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Just tell me what you want to listen to. You guys have any classical? You bet. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something uplifting, like, we're gonna get through this. Just trying to instill some confidence, you know? See you on the other side. That's what Clem says to me sometimes when she needs me to be brave. Well, I think we all need some of that right now. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. 
There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. I don't want to uh, discourage you, but we're going to be on that boat to rescue the others. Please, don't get us killed. What? No! I mean, yeah, I still have a few details to work out, but don't worry. I'll make sure there's time for you to get off the boat before she explodes. Trust me, this will work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how he treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle. I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. How about Mitch's masterpiece? Yeah, I like that. Mitch would have too. Okay, then it's settled. I found them! Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And all the bad shit we did that kept them from sending us back home. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, you might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Well, not to speak ill of the dead, but that sounds exactly like Marlin. You'd think so, but nope. Really? The person in the file? <laughs> Imagine Marlin times another Marlin. That's Ruby's file! <laughs> Holy shit, really? Guilty as charged. Yeah, you should have seen Ruby back in the early days. She was like, uh... You ever seen those Tasmanian devil cartoons when you were a kid? <laughs> that was our Ruby. He used to have a mean streak a mile long. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Willie, please, no. Chronic masturbation. Trust me. 
Nobody wanted to know that. What does that mean? Uh uh, don't you dare. Uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? Oh, I like all kind of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Break out the jazz. I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Aaron. Yeah, I used to make fun of her braces. Why did I do that? Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Whose is it? Lewis. Should we read it? I could tell you why I was sent here instead. You know, as a consolation prize or whatever. You might hate me after, but since we're all being so open and all. I was hoping you'd tell me. I spent a lot of time at my grandma's house growing up. What with my dad being a drunk and my mom working three jobs. But after my grandpa died, grandma just kind of shut down. Spent all day and night rocking in her little chair in the den. I'd sit there at her feet as we both watched TV. Mostly cartoons since she never seemed to care. Sometimes I could hear her crying, but I didn't look back. I'd just feel really weird and turn up the volume. You know? Anyway, one day she left the den and came back with another chair and a 22 rifle. Set the rifle butt on the top of the chair, holding the barrel back to her chest. So, you know, she had trouble reaching the trigger this way, but she must have known it would happen because she took out this really tacky wooden back scratcher. The real long kind with the one end shaped like a hand. And, uh, Use that to push the trigger in. So yeah, bang, right? Her body folded up and just kept rocking. My mom came to get me five hours later. I hadn't moved. She asked why I didn't call the police or an ambulance or anything. I just shrugged and told her it wasn't like grandma was going anywhere. And besides, I just wanted to finish my cartoons. She shipped me off to Erickson the next day. I was 11. I'm so sorry, Violet. I can't imagine what that was like, what you went through. It's fine. We've just been through a lot of shit. We weren't good people, Clementine. But it still doesn't mean that we should have been left here to die by the people that were supposed to take care of us. Sorry, this is supposed to be fun. I'm, I'm just not the game type, like Lewis was, I guess. You mean is. We'll see him soon. Ten's right. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared. Too bad I can't play it. Lou would have known how. He liked that one. You could just sing it to us, like she used to. Your voice is really pretty. Okay. Okay, yeah. All right, I, uh... I can do that. Never mind the 
darkness Never mind the storm Never mind the blood red moon The night will be over soon The night will be over soon Brush away the sorrow Brush away the tears Sing away your heavy heart The night will be over soon The night will be over soon for every night goes quiet and every moon grows blue beyond the dark comes something new the sun will be rising soon the sun will be rising soon The sun will be rising soon Hey, sweet pea. Lee? Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. You were a quick stunny. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? <sighs> Couldn't let on, of course. I never noticed. It just felt like you always knew the right thing to do. Yeah? Well, I got lucky. Luck counts for a lot. I'm gonna need some now. You wanna tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now. And I've been in so many. And they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. Yeah, 
I made it this far, didn't I? You sure did. But a lot of other people couldn't. Never give in, Clem. Imagine what Lewis is gonna say when he sees your face. Those boys are gonna have hope again knowing that you came to rescue them. <sighs> oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A girl who loves you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again, when you've gotten them out, okay? Out and safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. Lee, I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. <sighs> I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. AJ's amazingly. I've taught him to be strong and brave and capable. He'd be so proud. You mean more than I already am? short um you don't know how hard it is to find scissors these days <laughs> time to go clementine you've got people that need you <sighs> goodbye lee Wake up. It's time to go. We got a long walk. We're really doing this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend. He's to... here. Good lord. Uh, hello. Guys, this is James. 
He's my friend. He's, uh, so cool. How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh, I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Well, come on, give him some space. But I just want to... Not right now. Yeah, right. Sorry. I didn't mean to be weird or anything. It's okay. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. I, uh, uh, hey. Hey there, James. Sorry about Willie. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd marry? <laughs> yeah. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, Tank, can you come talk for a sec? There's something I have to tell you. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Like you. That's not usually how my first impressions go. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just... being welcomed. It's strange. You know... They could be your friends, too. I know you didn't want to come into the school before, but now that you've met them... I haven't lived with people in a long time. But... It does sound nice. Let me think about it. I wanted to show you something. This is was my boyfriend, Charlie. We joined the Whisperers together. But it changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. What do you mean? The Whisperers were my family. From a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison. And I believed in that, fiercely. So much so, that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. I didn't talk to him. Didn't consider who he was, what he felt. You killed someone innocent? A child? That's horrible. I know that now. But then I didn't care. It had to be done. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. But no one else did. When A.G. told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. When he said it was the right thing to do. Taking life like that, from a young age, it breaks something inside you. It broke something in Charlie. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. I'm not going to let AJ become a killer. I don't want him to change. Not like that. I hope you can keep that promise. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. Take care of AJ. Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Dan, take care of the supplies. I've got the bomb. 
find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. <sighs> See you all on the other side. I'll cut it open. Violet told me about Minnie. That Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just, if you see her out there, tell her, tell her I forgive her. Please, I tell her myself, but I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Thanks. Hey, it's time. We gotta move. Clem? What happens if someone else gets caught while we're in there? What if it's you? I couldn't save Minnie or Lou or the Sim. Omar. I, I... I really care about you, Clem. If something happened to you because of me... I can't lose you too. I won't. You better not disappear on me, okay? I promise. <laughs> what are you doing? Go look in another direction. Are we good? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's bring our friends back home. All of them. All of them. It's ready. So, I know this is gonna sound gross, but... Covering your smell. <laughs> Smart. Get my back. Thanks. We gonna do it? We're doing it. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. shields.
going overboard! God damn it! Someone get over there and see what's going on! Stay shot! Okay, now's our chance. We can't risk leaving cover. We'll have to crawl along the side of the dock. Stay close. Stay hidden. Stay close. Stay hidden. AJ? Walkers! Hurry! Ready, AJ? Walkers! get our friends out. Many said there were eight raiders, but we didn't see that many outside. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Right behind you. Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? I can see the boiler.
Hey! Who's there? Where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in the way. Maybe there's another way in. Wait here. Masterpiece. Bury this thing in the bottom of the river. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. Let's hurry up then. Focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I have a little brother. Just a short, scarred face. See? He's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. Caught up in this. Just, just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. <sighs> Shit. I'll help you get everyone out. Then you take my brother and run. Get him back to where it's safe. Come on, we have to hurry. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god, are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I... Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Take care of Louis first. He's... he's in rough shape. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Doreen comes back. Help me with these guys. Got it. Lewis. Lewis. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Don't now. fucking point that at me. Don't 
for this. I promise you, Lewis. <laughs> Shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You'll be home soon. There's a gap here. <sighs> Too small to fit my hand through. We're not staying here that long. I'll get us out of here. I promise. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! Thank God. At least we're not moving yet. We've still got time to figure this out. Vi, are you alright? I'm fine. Looking for a way out. If this thing explodes... You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah. I'm alright. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... They must have taken away my knife. AJ! Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me.
whatever you doing, don't. I promise you, it ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll take it from here. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it! We showed him mercy. He was terrified of turning, so we stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Back up. Minerva, open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organize these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential. I'm not your prize. You're crazy if you think I'd ever fight for you. Everyone talks like that when they first join. You'll come around. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. I always hated your dad. Right from the start, when he tried to throw Duck out of that drugstore we were hiding in. He never gave a damn about what people thought of him. My father had his faults. But he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it... The Parable of the Twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting, or they'd lose everything they built. Their crops, their power, even their lives. Kidnapping people and forcing them to fight? Sounds like slavery to me. Call it whatever you want. They were helping each other survive. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. 
She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. What the Jesus fuck? Jesus Christ. Minnie. No, tell me it's not true. Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one, or the dead one? What have you done to her head, you fucking psychotic bitch? You're evil! You are fucking evil! I'll be the one who breaks out at night and cuts your throat while you sleep. <sighs> kind of what I expected you to say. But you'll see. I'm not kidding around. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Violet, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo, you better cool it, or you gonna get yourself Fuck hurt. no! Get off of me! Easy. Stay still. Shit, fuck you, no! Don't make this hurt more than it has to. enough. He bit me! I said that's enough! You deserve to die. We'll kill you! You think you can kill me? I know I can. We'll throw you in the river, and we'll put a knife right to the side of your head! Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. I killed Marlin, and I was justified. Dang. So you killed Marlin, huh? I bet you'd make a great soldier. Leave him alone. This is between us. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on, let's go have a chat. Just us. Don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clem inside! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Don't you dare look at me like that! This is the only way we survive. Who are you? Fuck survival! Look at what you're doing! Minnie? I just want to talk to you for a second. I'm sorry we never searched for you. For Sophie. I'm sorry we trusted that fucker Marlin. If I ever thought there was a chance... I know! I know, okay? But Sophie's dead. I have a new family. Minnie, just you all need to understand. This is the only way. Lay down, stay in line, or you die. The people you love die. If you just do what they say, you can live. All of you.
Better see you on land. You will. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. You'll come around too, once you see what we have to offer. Plenty of food, Found comfortable one more beds for you and Clem. You can even share a room. Tin! Fuck. Tennessee, did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. Found this in the herd. No wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? You force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. I don't... The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. Kill it. No! Fuck! Easy there, Tan. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shooter! Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. Fine, go ahead then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? <coughs> oh, I see. So you came here to cry. Tim. <laughs> Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please, don't! No! Oh. <sighs> 
everyone leave. My crew and I will leave. We won't bother you anymore. AJ! She's not a threat. Lower the gun. You weren't down there. You didn't see what she did. She cut my friend's tongue out. You don't have to do this, please! It's a trick! Don't you fucking dare, AJ! Just give me the gun. You can't let her hurt anyone else! I don't want to die! Lower the gun, AJ. Mom! 